Hi, this is Vivek from Informatica Global Customer Support. Uh, today we'll talk about how a user can figure out the name of the uh, repository service or the integration service from the background running respective PM represent and PM server process. So one way is to uh, look at admin console, uh, admin console and, and, and logs of the respective uh, service and then get the PID from the log. Other mechanism is to obtain it from the Unix prompt. So how to do it? Let's let me let me show you that. Yep. So under user vehicles tray, I have a couple of services listed, a couple of processes running here. One of them is the PM represent process, right? Not all platform will display the complete set of arguments. Uh, based on these arguments, we are going to figure out the name of the uh, repository service, uh, which which has which has created the underlying PM represent process. There is a common way uh, across all the platforms, a Unix and Linux platform, to uh, to get the complete set of arguments which are passed onto a process. So if we note the PID of this process, which is one double zero five four, we'll do cat slash proc PID that we have selected, CMD line command line. So if we do, if we run this, we'll see the complete command with arguments. However, if you display this on the console, uh, the arguments are clubbed together to get the complete list of arguments let's redirect this to a flat file a log file and then we see the log file and we would realize that the pm represent process has arguments uh, like this so hyphen and then one encrypted string the second encrypted string and like so on these encrypted strings is actually the name of the domain uh, the name of the service and the node name and they are base 64 encoded so we'll decode them we'll decode, decode them uh, using OpenSSL or you can use any online tool uh, to decode these base 64 strings let's see what the first argument is actually about to decode, uh, I'm, I'm going to use OpenSSL. So I have a D option is for the decoding. And what I see is the D I got a for. It's like I use it, I use this name for my local domain. So Cut of war is actually the domain name. Now let's see what is the second argument is all about. RS underscore demo. This is the name of the repository service which is running in my domain. So this is a way we can we can we can figure out we can obtain the name of the uh, repository service for which a respective PM represent PM represent process is forked. Uh, this is quite useful in a case where multiple Informatica services, multiple Informatica nodes are running on the same machine, and you see multiple Java processes. Uh, so you can pick any PM rep PM represent process and figure out which domain this. Uh, repository service belongs to and what is the name of it even the same set of steps can be configured can be can be followed to obtain the name of integration service so this is all about uh, please uh, share your feedback with us and you can write you can you can email us on support videos at the, at the thank you very much